Hey there everyone, it's Retro Kaiser here and welcome to a new video and today's video is about WRC Roblox. Now, I didn't know about this game and the creator of this game, Screen Slicer as you can see right here, actually contacted me on Discord and asked me if I was, you know, down to check his game out and like, and like possibly make a video on it, which I did and honestly, I mean, this game is as close as you can get to a Dirt Rally experience on Roblox. Yes sir. Now, I've played a whole lot of Dirt Rally games throughout my life and I still do and I'm a really big rally enjoyer. So I've been playing this for a while and honestly, this is a pretty good game. I mean, I don't see too many flaws around here. Now this has a lot of enjoyable maps around here and actually the dev told me to go check out the Japan map and it's really popular actually. So let's go to the Japan map and we'll continue the video from there. Okay everyone, so here we are on the Japan map and as you can see the details are pretty good. Now one thing to remember is that this game is still under development so you can expect a whole lot of changes. This is a leaderboard and actually the time system is pretty good because when you finish a lap it actually tells you how fast you were going around. Now how to spawn a car, you just click on the spawner, you go up to a car and I'm going to spawn the Yaris as an example. You have a pretty good selection of cars here. So click on the Yaris and voila, here it is and the controls are you know, pretty simple, W, S, A, D, E for upshift, Q for downshift. Now, let's talk a bit about the gameplay, shall we? Okay, let's talk gameplay. Now, as you can see right off the bat, the game is absolutely smooth. If you got a good net connection, the game runs absolutely smoothly without any problem. Now, personally, I haven't encountered any type of, you know, high ping situation or like any lags or anything like that. The game runs absolutely smoothly and there are a good amount of players when I play. I mean, all the times I've played this game, there are always a good amount of people in the maps and it doesn't have any like problem handling that. And the next thing that I would really like to talk about is basically the car physics and the handling. Now, out of all the games that I've played in Roblox, I mean, there are only a few which, you know, deliver a smooth experience and WRC Roblox is one of those because the car as you can see I mean I'm driving as nicely as possible okay this I'm doubtful okay I was pushing the car a bit too hard but anyway if you drive like a like a civilized human being this game is actually really smooth in terms of handling and car physics I mean the car and the sound too the sound quality is pretty good you don't really hear these type of good sounds I mean the 22b has backfire here people that's a pretty cool thing you got actual backfire of the cars the headlights the light design is also pretty good and overall it's a pretty good experience especially once again the car handling it surprised me because it's so smooth and it's pretty realistic now I've played a lot of Dirt Rally games as you can see in the channel if you go back I mean I will be uploading more if you guys want it but yeah I've been playing Dirt Rally for a long time and especially um, these days ever since I got my new PC and it's pretty similar you know WRC Roblox right here it's pretty similar in terms of that feeling that you get when you're driving a car I mean this car I mean the 22B over here I don't know about the others because the Polo and the Yaris were a bit hard for me to drive because I'm not really used to front drive cars that much but the 22B man it is an absolute performer I mean you can actually push this car and this gives you confidence you know it, if you know how you want to handle your car you can smoothly handle it without you know getting disturbed by any bad physics or bad handling characteristics so yeah in terms of gameplay it is a really good experience the only thing that you need to watch out for are the tight curves and you need to you know tap the handbrake okay I long press the handbrake and it is not a good thing yeah so that is the gameplay part and now let's go down to the few things that you know I talked with the developer about and you know he gave me a lot of answers about my questions so yeah let's talk about those okay so here are a few questions that I actually asked the creator of the game screen slicer on discord and um, he gave me pretty good replies and uh, the first question that I asked him about the game was I mean what do you recommend first-timers should try out in your game to which he replied first-timers should probably try the Japan map and any car they'd like except for the group B cars because yeah that is a pretty good suggestion because I did that um, I uh, went to a different map and I did use a group B car and it was you know overwhelming for me so the Japan map I like showed you guys over there it's pretty good if you get a good hang of it and like the other cars are pretty good 
The Group B ones are pretty challenging to play and uh, yeah, the first time are advice straight from the developer. So if you're gonna think about like playing the game for the first time, do try and uh, you know, check out the way the developer is telling you to play. And the next question that I asked him is that, as you saw in the, the main title area, there is a single player option which is locked. So I asked him, like, what do you plan to have in the single player mode? And he actually gave me a pretty cool answer. Now the answer he gave me is that we may have single player for people to try and set the fastest time possible or we may have a career mode instead where people earn money to buy better cars. Now if these guys pull a campaign mode, which can be a lot like you know dirt 4 if any of you have played it it has a pretty extensive and cool career system and um if they do something like that that'll be pretty cool they can make a forza horizon type career where you're like a superstar or a rising superstar you just have to climb your way up i mean the possibilities are endless where they can take the game and so far after talking with the developer and playing the game they are on the right track people and you really should stick around this game if you love rally racing now the next question that i asked him was pretty much what are the types of updates that will be coming along now he did say that the updates will include new cars and maps and eventually a new menu system with either single player or career modes and uh, he also said that they are open to suggestions by the players so if you play the game and if you want you know something changed or want to talk to him you can like directly contact him and they will you know listen to you because they are saying that we are open to any suggestions that the people give us now the next question is very interesting now i asked him why should someone play your game according to you exactly i asked the developer why should anyone play his game now he gave a pretty good answer for this as well because it is the biggest rally game on roblox with the most variety of cars and a friendly community we always take in suggestions and usually make them happen that is pretty much the truth there is like no other rally game like this in roblox so should you give this a shot 100% how much rating will i give the game out of 10 i'd give it a solid 8.5 so far because once they like they add the career and you know they actually make it cool for single players i mean it'll be a whole lot more cool but as of now the game should only interest you if you have a lot of friends or if you just love you know rally racing in general because here you can have lots of fun with your friends in the game you can also have lots of fun alone wrc roblox actually ticks all the boxes for a good rally game so yeah, you should 100% check it out. I mean, the uh, link to the game is in the description below. So yeah, go check it out, play the game. I honestly enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys do check out the game. Do consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Also, shout out to Screen Slicer for, you know, asking me to play this game. Honestly, I mean, like no one has ever really approached me with a legit game as of recent. So yeah, I mean, thank you Screen Slicer for making such a great game and uh, hopefully we get to see a whole lot more cool updates and I hope your game reaches a great, you know, point in Roblox. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Retro Kaiser signing off.